ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host, Teddy. If you haven't checked out the first episode of a new series I've started called Hardware Legends, definitely go over to my channel and check that out. We covered the AMD 9590 CPU, the old uh, <laughs> FX9590. So that was the first CPU that uh, went to 5 gigahertz right out of the box. This was long before the 8086 came out. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun series. I'm gonna be covering tech that I find to be legendary, both for good or bad reasons. Just products and parts that you guys really should know about. Most of you guys will know them. Uh, and just covering them, talking about them, giving my opinion on them and everything like that. And it's just a fun new series that'll be starting. The videos take me quite a while to make though, so I won't be able to make that many of them. But of course, if you're subscribed to Tech Showdown, you'll catch all of them as soon as they drop. Now in today's video, we're talking about NVIDIA. So the GTX 1660 Ti launched and it got a lukewarm reception, I guess you might say. Uh, most people were like, yeah, decent, sure, yeah, it's good. Now, it's we've talked about this before, the naming of it is just fucking stupid. There's no two ways about it, honestly. It's so, I don't know why in tech, in the last like, in, in the last few years as well, especially, the naming has just been really stupid for a lot of products, like really con confusing for consumers, and it's just stupid, and I don't know why it's getting like this, but this takes the cake by like a fucking country mile. It's so stupid. I, I just have no idea what NVIDIA was thinking. Anyway, we've talked about this before, and you guys know how rustled I get over the name. So, name stuff aside, it seems, yeah, people, it comes in at a pretty cheap price and gives you, like, you know, 1070 performance, so, you know, whatever. People are generally sort of okay with it, I suppose you would say. Uh, I haven't checked one out because I just don't want to. Let's <laughs> just be perfectly honest. I'm just like, mm, you know, buy it. And I think that's what most of you guys are like as well. It's like, eh, okay. Now, NVIDIA is going to be launching two more. So we'll talk about this. So this comes from uh, Digi Times, these leaks. And this is a WCCF Tech article I'm reading from. And it reads, The leak suggests that the GeForce GTX 1660 will be launching on the 15th of March for a price of $229, US while the GeForce GTX 1650 will be launching on the 30th of April for a price of 179 US dollars. So that pricing uh, is quite low, obviously, uh, especially with cards now, the pricing. And if you didn't know, AMD recently reduced the cost, reduced the price, I should say, of the RX 590 and RX 580. So this is, they obviously did that knowing that these cards will be out soon. Uh, so it's actually, if you're looking for a more value for money graphics card, one of these sort of more mid-range ones, uh, this is looking to be quite good. You know, in terms of uh, price now over the next few months when, when these come out, next month or so, I should say. Um, yeah, this is going to be quite good. So if you were someone hanging out to buy like a mid-range GPU, maybe you don't have a lot of money, you have to be a bit careful with it. Uh, it's getting quite good for you guys in terms of the mid-range GPUs. So it reads on, when it comes to specifications, the GeForce GTX 1660 will be based on a slightly cut down Turing TU116 GPU core. That's the same as what the 1660 Ti has. With around 1280 CUDA cores and 6GB of VRAM, the GeForce GTX 1650 will end up using a different core with around 896 to 1024 CUDA cores and 4GB of VRAM, which will be based on GDDR5 rather than GDDR6. We've seen that the 1660 Ti is faster than the GTX 1070, so it's highly likely that the 1660 will be faster than the GTX 1060 for a lower introductory price. The 1650 will end up being faster than the 1050 Ti, but we have to wait for the final spe specifications to provide a proper estimate that's close to the real product. Yeah, so this looks good. I mean, um, for, for consumers, for you guys out there, this is this is obviously a very good thing. Competition's always great. This is what I've talked about many, many times. It doesn't matter if you're the hugest AMD fanboy or NVIDIA fanboy or Intel, whatever it is. 
doesn't matter i'm not a fanboy of anyone i don't care these are billion dollar companies they don't give a shit about me so why should i give a shit about them um that being said the competition's really good when this competition advances the technology it also brings prices down because the companies are trying to win over consumers and it's it really is a good thing and it it seems like in the mid-tier right now and it'll be the same for those more entry level cards too it's getting quite competitive which is good which is why we're seeing this aggressive pricing and a very good value for money when it comes to these gpus i would say i mean we haven't tested these yet we don't know the performance but judging off the specs and everything else you could say that these are going to be pretty good value for money for the most part especially by contrast to the high-end gpu which nvidia more or less i know this is radeon 7 but nvidia more or less has a monopoly on it uh let's be real there's no serious competition for them in the high end aside from the radeon 7 and because of that you're seeing these huge prices because why not if you're nvidia why not you can charge that much and people were probably going to go out and buy it although sales have been a bit low so maybe it's not exactly true um but yeah they'll be making a ton of profit on those gpus that's for sure so that's that's it. we're in an interesting time right now i definitely think this is good uh definitely for you guys the consumers it's going to be good uh, especially if you're waiting to buy a mid-range graphics card this would be quite good and so i want to chuck the question for you if you're in the market now for a mid-range graphics card where you're going to be in the next sort of few months which one is really catching your eye as the one you might go for is it something like the uh, 1650 or 1660 ti or are you looking more towards something like the 2060 or maybe you're going towards amd like something like the uh, rx 590 i'd really like to know because it's looking like there's going to be a lot of competition here but i want to see what you guys are feeling which one's really catching your eye as the one that you might go for um because this is an area that i think is going to really heat up and it'll be good for for all of us uh especially once the reviews come out and everything like that so let me know in the comment section down below which one you're the most interested in and uh if everyone wants to see me review a specific type, then sure, I might do a showdown with them. Now, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already. I know my videos have been a little bit slow recently. It's that I've kind of been... Um, I've been doing this channel now for four years. And four years is a long time to YouTube. I mean, I've made more than 500 tech videos. It's quite a lot. And... For me, it was kind of like after four years, I kind of hit a wall in these last two weeks. Not not in terms of like, like, how do I word this? I kind of hit a wall in that I I needed to ask myself, what, what kind of content do I want to be making? Like, I think a lot of YouTubers have this dilemma of they don't know if they should be making the content that people want to watch or the content that they enjoy making because oftentimes they're not the same thing you might think it's the same but oftentimes it isn't and that's kind of like what it was for me it was like what should i just make the videos that get views even if i hate making those types of videos or should i make the videos i like to make even if they don't get any views and that's kind of that dilemma and i feel like the best thing for a lot of YouTubers to do is kind of you do it do a mix you do kind of the more ones that the fans really like but maybe you don't like them as much and then you do the ones that you kind of like a bit more as well so it's just being for me I've just been kind of going through that kind of motion myself of what content I actually like making and and how I want to do the channel going forward which is why I launched this new series Hardware Legends because that was something I had on my mind and uh, that's a series I'm going to keep doing going forward because it's something I really enjoyed doing <laughs> as I said they take a while to make, so I won't be doing uh, that many of them, but I'll try to do as, as many as I can. I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you understand, and I'll see you all next time.